aka featuring Leslie Wheeler. She has a Facebook too, but she keeps it very anonymous. And say hi. Hello. Yes. So she's gonna show you guys how she's down in this kitchen. So like an eggplant, which is um eggplant parmesan. Egg it's an Italian parmesan. dish. It's all Italian, baby. So we ain't Italians, but you know, we could get down with about anything we could cook. You know what I'm saying? So, what's the method we're doing? Uh, so it's breadcrumbs mixed with uh, Parmesan and Romano cheese. So I mix that. The eggplant's been washed and cut and salted. So did you just uh, basically put salt or mace and seasoning salt? Is what you, yeah, a little, a little seasoning and salt. Okay. You have to salt it. And then you put it in the egg. And then you, you put, put it in the egg and the breadcrumbs with the um, Parmesan Romano. And it's just going to bake. Usually I fry it, but I'm going to bake it today. Do you think it's going to have a different texture because we're baking it well, today? Well, I think it'll be a little bit more healthy for you and not, yeah, maybe a little bit crispier, you know, a little bit firmer. But not really. I've, I've um, baked it before, and it actually good. I thought it kind of tasted a little better. Okay. Then like all the oil and yeah, the olive oil. Actually, only I didn't do it this way. I just baked it normally like this. The little um, garlic and um, powder and onion powder and salt. It was really good. For guys that have never ate eggplant before, I say go out and find some uh, recipes with eggplant so you guys can give it a try because it's kind of a misunderstood vegetable. Not everyone's very open into eating eggplant. So these are the eggplant and we're gonna bake them. It's an Italian dish. This is breadcrumbs and um, breadcrumbs and um, parmesan, excuse me. And you warm up your oven to 375. This, I know what you're thinking, eggplant gross? Mm -mm. It's delicious. Like you would think it almost tastes like meat, meat patty. No, it's not, it's eggplant. Um, so yeah, excited to fry them instead. Just because they weren't cooking like I wanted them to cook. I want that crisp on it, and it wasn't, it just was cooking slow. It wasn't giving me that crisp look that I wanted. And I was looking for, you know, kind of like charred, yeah, like that. I want it. Because so you're going to put it in like a tomato sauce. So you want it to be cooked. So we use vegetable instead. Yeah. But yeah, I guess since it's an Italian dish, olive oil would be nice. Yeah. A little, you know, a little lighter and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's okay. You use what you got. Yeah, use oil what you got. You got. Yeah, don't go all out of your Gracie way. Gracie oil is fine. Any oil. And if you're a guy, like, and you're trying to wow a girlfriend, I'd say cook this because she'll be impressed with just the taste and the texture. And mm -hmm. she'll be like, oh, this shit is good. That's not that easy to have. And I like your girlfriend, she's cool. That's my, my dinner. I know you're on here taking care of me, man. I, I didn't eat all this part. Let me check on my chicken. Watch out. Okay, I'm taking 15 minutes. Oh, what? 15 minutes. I have this. Starting to come. I don't want big chunks of garlic in my slice. And I don't want my onion burnt. Switch it up.
flavor for a sauce when you make your homemade sauce for pasta. You want a whole onion, but that was a big onion, so I didn't use it all. And you don't want to burn your onion. You just want them trans transparent, you know, a little soft. To give the sauce, sauce a flavor. And I'll add more seasoning. So we're using crushed tomato, not no tomato sauce, so it's spaghetti sauce. I don't like the flavor of spaghetti sauce. I like more of a natural sauce. And then you can, I'm going to make a little pasta. Look at the coast. I'm going to get some Italian seasoning. A little bit of oregano and <coughs> Italian. So this is what I'm gonna do. Let's see the bottle. It's oregano. See, I'm just gonna add a little. You gotta have a flavor. About a tablespoon or a little more. So I like flavor. I like to taste flavor. And this is Italian, so we wanna taste herbs. You know, when you make Italian. And this is uh, Italian seasoning. That was basil. Basil leaf. And that's I don't have any oh. fresh right now. Um, all I got is mint. And we're not going to put mint. So, that's a little bit of both. I am going to add, um, this is garlic powder. And I will go with a little onion powder. Because remember, this is not can or bottle, so you're... You're getting your own flavors in there, you know, for your own um, sauce, spaghetti basically. sauce. So you want to be able to not have a can, you know. A can really has no flavor. You think it does, but uh oh. I but feel like really, the sauce in the jar doesn't really have flavor. It either. doesn't have too much of flavor, mm -mm. so it's always best to oh, make your oh, own. Well, I got so many seasonings. I am. Shout outs to all the you. white people that like their food bland. Because it's too spicy yeah. for them. I'm going to add a little salt. I'm not going to add seasoning salt. Just a little salt. I actually didn't even give it too, too much of a flavor. I'm going to uh, see if I got some parsley. That's where you get your color in. This is just a tablespoon. So remember it's tomatoes. So... We want to have a little bit of a flavor, and that's not going to be salty, so don't worry about it being salty, because I, I doubt it very seriously. I want to taste my food. This is parsley. It's not fresh, but it's parsley. Let's turn the stove up a little bit so we can get it to simmer. All the flavors together and then all right, we'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, so what are we doing here? Explain. So we're just putting a layer of this sauce at the bottom of the pan. You also can lay on it. So remember, it's kind of like a, it's an Italian dish. So you want to kind of, you know, put a little bit of that at the bottom. I'm probably going to layer it on top. So when you grab it, you're going to have a couple of pieces on top. So you'll, you'll see how I do it. So this is one. So that's actually one layer, and I'm going to put some more sauce on each one, because you're going to layer it. And I think we might be only going two layers with this, Mama John. This, no, this is mozzarella, I believe. It is mozzarella. I have it in the fridge for a minute, so it'd be nice to ease it up. We had so much. Lasagna and I, I sometimes cook fat, <laughs> but you know, you only live once, so if you don't have no sicknesses or illness, enjoy the things that you like. You might not get it. 
kittens. I hope they did the big ones. Well, I don't know if I should use the that whole week, so. It's kind of grainy, huh? Hello. Well, that's what we use at work. We don't use. You know what? You guys can't be kicking in this ice, man, with dirty hands. You're just trying to taste it. Just mm -hmm. the taste. Just a little cheese. Okay, I think we're good. Oh my! Yes, but this is like the expensive craft cheddar parmesan Roman Asiago cheese. And this is your handy dandy craft cheese. Yeah, you know I'm not saying? gonna use that. That was the mix with the bread crumbs. Oh, it's just for the top. So you just sprinkle a little bit of this on the top. Sprinkle, sprinkle, dinkle. So what are you going to be doing here? Putting it in the oven? Gonna bake it. Ooh, You'll for how long? All right, you guys, we'll be back. We're about to bake this, y'all. It's going to be delicious. We like cheese. We're a cheesy-ass family. That's why cheesy. Cheese is good if you don't eat it all the time. 